Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Dumbfounding Definitions, Dizzying Distinctions, and Diabolical Doctrines, a series sorting through some of the jargon of philosophy. In this video, we're going to be looking at what is Russell's teapot. Now, Russell's teapot is a thought experiment about the burden of proof. Bertrand Russell claims that if he were to assert that there was a teapot too small to be seen with telescopes orbiting the sun between the Earth and Mars, he would not expect any reasonable person to believe him simply because he couldn't be proven wrong. The teapot's small enough you can never really prove that it doesn't exist, and therefore it must exist. However, most people would say, you know what, I'm not going to believe in a teapot or a cat or whatever object you have floating out there in space simply because I'm bad at finding it or I can't find it or your claim is unfalsified. Russell uses this odd experiment to demonstrate that the burden of proof lies on the claimant, even in cases where it's impossible to show that a claim is false. If you claim that God exists, but offer no proof, only the claim that there is no way that one can disprove God, there's no more reason to believe your claim than the claim that Russell's teapot exists. So if you're claiming that, well, God must exist because you can't disprove him, then you should equally accept that Russell's teapot must exist because you can't disprove it. Both are only justified by the fact that they are unjustifiable. It's important to note that this does not demonstrate that no such teapot or god exists. We haven't gone out into space looking for a teapot. It's possible that one exists out there. And similarly, it's possible that a god exists. However, the burden of proof rests on the person who's convinced that a teapot exists, and the burden of proof rests on the person who believes that a god exists. Rather, what this thought experiment does is it shows that our default position in these situations should be skepticism, should doubt that a teapot exists or a god exists. Here's the quote from Russell to give you a full sense of the scope. If I were to suggest that between the Earth and Mars there is a china teapot revolving around the sun in an elliptical orbit, nobody would be able to disprove my assertion, provided I were careful to add that the teapot is too small to be revealed, even on our most powerful telescopes. But if I were to go on to say that since my assertion cannot be disproved, it is intolerable tolerable presumption on the part of human reason to doubt it, I should rightly be thought to be talking nonsense. If However, the existence of such a teapot were affirmed in ancient books, taught as sacred truth every Sunday, and instilled into the minds of children at school. Hesitation to believe in its existence would become a mark of eccentricity and entitle the doubter to the attentions of a psychiatrist in an enlightened age or of the inquisitor in an earlier time. Russell's point here is that the only reason one accepts God and not the teapot is because one has been indoctrinated, not because there is some substantial argument to, simply because you can't prove this false, you should believe in it. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.